Yo, what up guys? All right, so I just got a call from the company called Informa, which are basically the guys who are responsible for all of the fan expos and now some comic cons in Canada. After two rejections, I actually didn't get a chance to go to the one in Toronto because um, I, I feel like uh, their system's a little unorganized or they let go of some people and now um, I just don't know who I'm supposed to talk to or get into contact with. Um, but I've been attending these fan expo shows for almost six years now, religiously trying to hit up every single one that I possibly can, especially in Canada. And now that they're getting the rights to Comic-Con as well, uh, there's almost like two events every month. This morning they called me after being rejected again for Edmonton Expo. They apologize, they don't know what's going on, but that they also have a few booth spots available for me to take. So I said yes, put us down for a double booth in the artist alley, and we'll see you guys there. <sighs> Yeah, show season, man. It's hectic. Get one for the vlog. Come on, homie, please. <laughs> yeah, we just came from a walk. This guy's done. I mean, every time we go for the walk, that's the plan, is to just get this guy as tired as I possibly can so he just sleeps all day. Even though he sleeps all day anyway, but yeah. Perfect cat dog. When he wants attention, he'll ask for it kind of thing, you know? Appreciate you, Gohan. Mm. Okay, let's get the day started. All right, guys, quick errand run. I got my print files on this USB stick and I'm just gonna head over to Staples. Usually I do the prints here by myself at home because we have a high enough quality printer to do that, like the 13 by 19, which is my bigger poster size prints. But lately I've just been learning how to delegate things uh, because it's not really worth my time. Uh, whereas beforehand when I did have a lot of time to spare, then it was okay, but I'd still be doing prints like two days in a row but at the same time like the printer you guys have right now in your possession is good enough for these kinds of prints it really just depends on your settings on the computer but i'm gonna be bringing this guy along because i owe him lunch and a walk and it seems like he's excited yeah we are gonna be going into the frs today found it yeah all right Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Up, 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 up. Ladybug, ladybug, come on, come on. There you go. There you go, buddy. I got you, homie. There, there, there. Okay. Wow. I am gonna grab some chicken katsu at this place called Wow. And uh, also, this coffee, um, which is interesting. I'll show you guys what it is. See, chicken katsu or bakery. Do you guys still do the uh, the Dalgona coffee? Yeah, sure. I'll just have a small. Oh, we have a little one. Size. Size? That's yeah. fine then. A any size. Perfect. Don't get it there. While we're here, I am gonna grab a donut too. Why not? Okay, this is practically the candy that you've all seen. These guys practically use that as sugar for their coffee. Like, what a good idea. And, yes sir. Okay, you know what? I think, I think our dogs are okay here. I'm gonna go grab them. So casually keep driving That's it, yeah, yeah, a little lion bear. <laughs> Aww, it's okay. Talking to us, so. Aww. <laughs> well, thanks for saying hi. Yeah, thank you for letting us. Of course, see you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hear that, Gohan? Honestly, guys, for a snack, plus there's actually free Wi Fi, this is pretty nice patio, and I'm sure you can actually bring beer out here if you're like eating katsu or something. But, um, this is called diag Diagonal Coffee. Um, if you guys recognize, it's the candy that they used in Squid Game. They basically use that as their sugar base. Once it all melts, it's so good. Um, but yeah, okay. Quick walk around. Okay, I promise. Oh. Hey, can you sit for me? Go on, look, look, what's this? Go on over here. What's hey, what's that? This? Hey, sit. Can you sit? 
There you go. Oh, oh that's so awesome. good. May I pet you? Oh my god, he's so <laughs> Super floof. Oh my that's god, it. so much floof. <laughs> Yeah. I love that word. He Look led it. me straight here. He knows exactly oh, where he's really? going. As I don't want him going down to the end. A dog peed down there, so I just don't want him to smell it and yeah, grab and then, it. Yeah. That and then it's... I tried to clean it up, but exactly. he's so good at smelling that out. He just plays tag and marks it. Oh, exactly. So. And that's what they do. <laughs> hey, come on. Hey. There's another one. Another? He knows pound it. <laughs> oh, what's that? Uh, or like high five. Oh, do you yeah. know high five? <laughs> Oh, so go. good. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, oh, well, I'm going to choose some treats yeah, for him if that's okay. Do. Oh, let him do his thing. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Take this. Thank you, thank you. Good job, homie. So I had a scheduled hair appointment and got my hair did by my friend Danny. Threw some green in there, makes me feel like myself again. And then me and my buddy Eddie decided to hit up the weekly luxury car meet. And then this happened. Oh my god, the guy's still stuck in the Porsche. He can't get out. Yeah, he hit that car that's up there. The one right up there, the, the Lexus that went up on the ledge. On the edge. Oh, he got out of the car. I hope he's okay. <laughs> What happened, oh, boy? Bro. What happened, man? That was all his fault. Dang. Was crying is all I know. For yeah. real. <laughs> they were they were only here to have a nice day at the park. Yeah. 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 What's up, man? What's up, bro? For sure, rent someone? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> well, turning lane, right? yeah. yeah. to be fair, when I was turning, there was a black SUV coming at us pretty fast already. I don't know why he went for it. He, he no, was he either looking it. left yeah, or he wasn't paying attention, but... Damn, I feel bad, man. Like one split second decision could have changed the day, the course of the day. Is it a mistake? <laughs> <laughs> so I was scrolling through the comments and I came across this one. Does anyone know what actually happened though? He hit another car, but who's at fault? Anthrax Supra. Porsche was completely at fault. I was the car directly 10 feet behind him in the intersection waiting to turn left. And he made this turn at the very last second, right as an oncoming car was entering the intersection. He turned straight into the other car, happened less than 20 feet in front of me. It was such poor judgment that it legitimately looked intentional. Yeah, unfortunate. I've just never seen such an easily avoidable crash before. It was really bizarre. My buddy and I were speechless. And then Eddie actually chimes in, facts. This Porsche was literally right behind me when this happened. Happened. We were turning, which it was already the last second of the yellow light turning red. You were in the wide body A90, I'm assuming? Yes, sir. Yep, the Porsche was right between us then. I, I was thinking about it today because, you know, the top half of my car is black. All wrapped all black. Yeah, and then I, I forgot, I'm like, oh yeah, this is just wrapped. Wait, no, what was it with this Porsche? All right, so me and Eddie decided to hit up this luxury car meet happening at Cardell, which is supposedly like a weekly thing, right? I thought the weather was nice. But I mean, today they specifically advertised that there was going to be a special appearance of a orange Koenigsegg. So hence, we're here. Sad news. Uh, so the white Porsche that I just showed you guys, we were driving with them behind us since like a McDonald's, maybe five minutes down the road. 
it happened all of a sudden. Uh, like we took the left, there was a black SUV coming towards us, so I, I had to kind of step it. But next thing you know, you just hear this big crash and then a screech. And we thought like someone was doing a burnout at the car meet or something, right? Turn around, big puff of smoke. You know, shit happens. Kind of just, yeah. Be safe, boys. You can selectively be as safe as possible, but the people around you may not be paying attention, so just be safe. You slip, my man. Oh, There's zero grip. Natural, stay in your bag like you wearing satchels. Hey, baby, you a godsend, 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 just missing the sandals. But still, you ain't missing much. Put your hands on my back, just a different touch. Put your ass on my plate, I don't skip the lunch, I don't skip the brunch, not the dinner neither. And we hella close, not a centimeter. Getting in between is all you two turned up. Never turn down though, when there's big energy, when I come around though. So, 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 don't ever switch. Know you've been looking, won't find it like this. Know you've been looking for a nigga that handed them curves. I'm telling you guys right now, okay? In a couple months. I'm working towards it. I have a budget, uh, a set standard, specific style in mind, but I'm not choosy. Uh, Hawkeye, mean eye, or blob eye, bug eye, any of the eyes. But this is cleanly built and similar to something along my style. Basic. But I'm not gonna do SDI. Just you guys wait. Not gonna lie. Clean. Super clean for E36 sedan. Oh my god. Carbon hood and everything. Nice fitment. Honestly, it would make for a good daily end. Summer if you wanna do a little skirt skirt. <laughs> Actually, both of those. This one's pretty nice too. But the BMW I love the most, the green one on the end there. Uh, yeah, cars are fun. I just think it's become too much a part of me at this point for me to completely step away from the scene. Just even going to these top quality luxury meets, which is free by the way, is a great way to get inspired. Like, surround yourself with cars you never could imagine you'd own. It's a good way to manifest it actually happening, instead of completely closing yourself off to the idea with a limited belief. Don't be the person that says, I'd never be able to own a Ferrari. That right there is poor mindset. Be the one out of your friends that says, one day, one day, I'll be able to afford one and have the option of choosing to own one or not. The first step is engulfing yourself in the right community. I'm not talking about the dumb takeovers that happen all over the US. If you take part of any of this, you're stupid. And the stupid games y'all are playing means you're gonna get stupid prizes. He got hit twice! Oh, oh, somebody just crashed! No way! Oh, oh my god! Today's predicament could have also been avoided. I'm just glad everyone was safe, everyone got out unscathed, other than the SUV and the Porsche. But guys, practice defensive driving. Don't text and drive, don't get mad at random people who cut you off, control your emotions, and pay attention when you're behind the wheel. Like twofold, your life's not the only one whose life you have to be wary of when you're on the road. So just drive safe, guys. So that's it for this video. Appreciate you guys for watching. As always, subscribe, drop a like, leave some good vibes in the comments, and we'll catch you guys on the next vlog.